After settling the overworld in New and Town Kingdoms and fighting back against the tyrant in New and Town Counteroffensive comes New and Town Refugee, picking up at the end of Counteroffensive's advancement tree. When you defeat the tyrant after summoning him in the Portal Factory and return to the overworld, you will be prompted to investigate the mysterious end invasion plans with help from the town planner. With the tyrant's record as a blueprint, he will give you a new book of recipes to construct and then complete an end portal for your town. If you have already defeated the Ender Dragon, or after doing so, the tyrant's invasion of the end will begin. The battle for the end takes place in four stages. First, three obelisks will emerge, one after the other, each carrying one of the tyrant's generals, who must be slain to progress. Then, three planar portals will appear in the sky, flocked with blaze jockeys. The blazes riding upon ghasts are officers of the tyrant's forces but only shooting the banners to close the portals will progress you to the next stage, where the tyrant will send a drilling station to bore into the end. Kill the general inside of this structure, and the tyrant will have no choice but to face you one last time. Although you have halted the invasion, the Endermen, beaten and in ruins, require a new home. It is up to you to build that for these refugees. The city planner inside of the lobby you construct will grant you the end city recipe book to build a new home in the same manner as with your settlement and fortress. This will be the ultimate test of your development skills as you prepare infrastructure and utilize resources from across dimensions in various expensive orientations to achieve endgame level rewards. To add new structures to your end city, approach the tower planner as with in Kingdoms and Counter Offensive and input the appropriate recipe items. Infrastructure pieces, like intersections, will use ender pearls as a catalyst, but functional city features will require a tyrant locus be placed in the center. These items are dropped by the tyrant's chief military forces, and so unlike with your settlement and fortress, the expansion of your end city is limited by your performance during the invasion. Let's take a look at the structures available in New in Town Refugee. Intersections will create bridges, allowing you to build a branching city with multiple towers. The standard roof structure, as well as any other structures marked with roof in the recipe book, will put a cap on the tower, preventing you from building any higher by not providing a new tower planner above. The endstone generator behaves like a primitive cobblestone generator, however, it creates more endstone instead. The chorus farm provides a convenient place within the city to grow your chorus fruits, and the chorister will trade those fruits with you or provide additional chorus flowers. The warped arbor is a roof structure, with a shroomer like the matching structure for the nether fortress. Once each overworld day, endstoneers will send endstone to the appropriate hopper in the city lobby, while choristers and shroomers will send popped chorus fruits to the other hopper. The Return Portal's Terrace provides a convenient way to return to your kingdom, especially if you've chosen to build your city in the Outer End Islands. Although you cannot sleep in the end, the Living Quarters provide a more human touch to comfort in your city. The Ender Mollusks of the End Oystery will produce Ender Pearls once each overworld day, useful for trading with the refugees living in your city. The pools of the Lava Chamber are unique for filling up to create four infinite lava sources in their middlemost drains. 
you can rely on the extra security of the Shulker Vault to protect your most valuable resources. The endgame power of golden apples cannot be denied, and so this golden apple tree will produce new ones each overworld day. The Carrot Gilder of the Golden Carrot Farm is a master of his craft, growing the most saturating of vegetables. The Slime Tamer maintains his slime den well, and will trade you for their drops or even for honey. The Redstone Dome is a roof structure where an electrician practices his craft and can give you the resources to master yours. The Phantom Aviary will periodically capture phantoms from the overworld, slay them, and you will be rewarded with the smallest limits of their power. The Throne Room is a roof structure with a seat fit for a king. It may not be the final structure you build in your city, but it is by far the most important. As with New in Town Kingdoms and Counter Offensive, the layout of your end city is completely modular. Each of the structures can be laid out in any order and orientation you like, and the logic of intersections will prevent you from destroying adjacent towers while still giving you plenty of creative and structural freedom. So long as you don't run out of Tyrant Loci or cap your towers with roofs too early. <laughs>